A day of cleaning up at this gas drilling site in the northern tier. Now people who live near here can only wonder about possible long-term effects of today's leak. It's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 11. Good evening, I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight with the latest information from that blowout at a natural gas drilling site in Bradford County. Chesapeake Energy officials confirm they have a drill water leak at a well pad near Canton, and crews have been working to contain the situation all day long. Newswatch 16, Sarah Bynowski live in our newsroom with the story. Sarah. Well, Scott, as you said, all day long, dozens of people have been working to fix that leak at the well pad in Leroy Township. And those people who live in the area have been keeping a close watch on the work, wondering what the impact will be. Yeah. Chesapeake Energy officials say thousands and thousands of gallons of drilling fluid have leaked in this quiet community near Canton from the company's well pad. It becomes very briny after it's exposed to the, to the shale, um, and that, that's what we're trying to contain on location, um, and that's what's in the well right now. People who live near the pad were asked to leave as a precaution, but many did not. I was asked to leave my house, yes. Safety. So it's just a safety thing. Yeah. It didn't bother me a bit. I had other work to do. Most we spoke with say they're worried about what the leak means for their water supplies. And in this farming community, that means water for them and their animals. That's typically everyone in the area's uh, concern is the well water. I mean, uh, we have hard water here, but we don't want a lot of other stuff. We want to keep on drinking it. Public safety officials say it could be days, even weeks, before they know exactly how the leak will affect things. As it looks right now, all the water that did run into that tributary did reach the creek, uh, with no adverse effects right now. And just a short time ago, Chesapeake Energy officials gave us an official update. They say initial testing from nearby Tawanda Creek indicates little, if any, significant effect to local waterways. They say the leak has been contained and well specialists will continue to monitor it, but they call the situation stable. Sarah Bynowski, Newswatch 16, reporting live tonight in the newsroom. Thank you very much, Sarah. We've talked quite a bit about fracking in the natural gas drilling process, but given the events of today, it might be helpful to explain exactly what that means. This is video from last year from another well drilling site in Bradford County. Workers showed us how they use hydraulics and pulleys to lift pipe into place. They then use a series of chemicals and mud as a natural lubricant to keep the drill sliding down the hole to the gas deposits. Then another crew and platform come in to frack the shale. Water and more chemicals under high pressure splinter the rock, making it easier to capture the gas. Crews then install a well and pump out the natural gas until the supply runs out. You can find much more on fracking on our website, WNEP.com.